All right. Um, when I'm dealing with ankle locks, anytime somebody starts attacking my foot, unless I was baiting them for something, of course, I generally like to defend my foot, get out of the position, or at least defend my foot and then attack. Um, yeah. It's always tricky. You see someone's getting their ankle attacked and then they go for the other guy's ankle. And at that point, you're just in a race and your adrenaline's going because you know you got to beat the other guy and that's how you end up you know, hurting your foot. So um, I, I take a more conservative approach. However, there are times that rather than defending, I'll counter the attack and I'll show you one of those times now. Same situation, get caught in a straight ankle lock and of course, if he has the ankle lock perfect, I won't, I, I won't have time to counter him. So I put a little bit of a boot on to buy me a moment. Uh, here he is doing his thing. He's got his foot on my hip. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab his collar and put the boot on just for a moment. Okay. So at this point, you know, he's not thinking about me countering him and I'm buying myself some time. Pulling in, pushing my foot. This hand's gonna go under his Achilles. All right, I put those toes in my armpit. Once I do this, now it's kind of like one-on-one, -on -one, all right, except he's not holding my collar, I'm holding his collar, okay? When I feel like he's deep enough on my leg, I've kicked through, so he's, he doesn't have a real, a real good lock on my leg, and I have a great lock on his leg. It's in this moment that I may decide to counter the guy. And I'm gonna do that by bringing my knee to my chest, letting go, cup and saucering, and then I split his legs, pushing on his chest and attacking his ankle. Okay. So there's a few things going on here, like behind the scenes that you might not notice. If he, if he has my ankle really well, I mean, I'm gonna be up here, you know, like really doing whatever I can to protect my ankle. If he has it right and then I start looking at his ankle, you're not really, you know, I'm missing the point. The idea is to get your ankle safe, maybe even turn your toes out a little bit, okay? And then at this point that you feel kind of safe but you're still stuck in this position, you can look at getting a good grip on his ankle, and this is a good grip. The toes are in the armpit. I'm pinching up with my arm. And then when I'm ready to go, I let go. I cup and saucer, driving off his chest. He still doesn't have a good grip on me. I look away and drive. He's already tapping, okay? And that is a fantastic counter in that scenario. All right, let's look at it in a, you know, in a real time situation. He gets my ankle, I defend it, maybe thumb him in the face, 